hear this. You are not alone. This is the resistance. Uh, rock guitar now says, do you think there's any chance of taking the power to print the currency away from the Fed bankers? They are printing $700 billion a year and getting it for free just by printing it. Uh, no. I mean, you can take the power away, but what's that going to do? They just adopt a new currency. Uh, what you would really need to do is you know, get somebody in office like JFK without getting his head shot off to abolish the Federal Reserve System and get us back on the gold standard because with us on the current system that we are in now you just print up more and more money and the value decreases and decreases and decreases until not only it goes to zero but it winds up in the negatives which you know is what the New World Order is trying to push for what you need to do is reset the scales, go back down to zero, put us back on the gold standard, and maybe just cut back on the current currency. You know, you don't need to print up a new currency, just destroy a lot of the currency. That way, the value of it increases. Uh, I, I, I'm not too good on economics, I'd have to look into that more, but. Definitely, we'd have to get a better form of control. It depends on who, like I said, he who has the gold makes the rules, but with us not even being on the gold standard, you know, it's just paper and digital numbers. So, you know, I could sell you bottle cap. I can use, I can start up my own country and use bottle caps as currency. And, you know, people could use bottle caps as a currency, you know, so long as there's X amount set. And you're not just keep printing it up and printing it up because there's so much gold in the world, but you can keep printing up paper. You need to have a set standard to where you're focusing solely on a specific mineral, like say gold, that's of limited quantity and of high value. That's how you control money not by printing it up because you know anybody can print up money but if you're on the gold standard he who has the gold makes the rules um, next King Cole you wise ass little shit cock or balls are you a cock man or are you a balls man you kidding me I'm a straight up pussy eating motherfucker I'm a pussy and I'm proud of it I am what I eat I don't like to kiss my ass. Uh, TKI Bellico 1, do you need an informant? Hell, like I said, I'm in the need of any kind of resources, you know. The, the resistance is full of people who are informants, who, you know, not only are informants, but also built up of people who are going to act. So yeah, we need people on both sides. So, you know, any little bit of help is welcome. You know, even if we had all the resources in the fucking world, every little bit helps. So yeah, uh, T-K-I-B-I-L-K-O-1. Yeah, we could definitely use more informants. Hit me up anytime. Uh, the Buchan 82. I'm not even sure I want to answer this. And I know this person personally. She's just funny as hell. If Jesus was a velociraptor, would only the most succulent livers be saved? Or would velociraptor take us all? Frankly, I don't know, but I think that's why Jesus Christ came in the form of a man, not a velociraptor. So I think, you know, we're okay. Uh, next, King Cole again asks, is John going to eat that peanut butter and onion sandwich ever? And what is your favorite Terminator movie? Frankly, I don't have a favorite Terminator movie. You know, just because I wound up with the scar doesn't mean I obsess over the franchise. You know, it was just kind of a coincidence thing. But 
now if I had to say, you know, Terminator 2 without a doubt was probably the best Terminator film. And as far as John eating the peanut butter and onion sandwich, I don't even know where the hell John is. He moved out of the place I was living at about a month ago, I think, and I don't know where the hell he is. I haven't really even had any contact with him. I'm going to have to look him up. So, John, if you see this, go ahead and give me a buzz, buddy. I promise I won't beat you up anymore. Uh, let's see. Christy KMC asks, I want to pour, actually, she do not even ask. I want to pour, sh I want you to pour sugar on my hot body. Would you let me rub my boobs in your face? Uh, wow. Well, uh, I don't even know who the hell you are. You know, for all I know, you're probably a dude with big ass boobs. You know, so, um, I'm gonna have to say no. Sorry. Um, Another question, um, how come, and this comes from Pup's Pantry, how come a sexy man like yourself does not have a wife, or do you? If so, where is she? I'm a 19-year-old girl from Cali. If I was your woman, I would be making your sexy little bald ass some dinner naked if you wanted. Why don't you have a girl? Well... I don't have a girlfriend because I've yet to find a woman who could handle me. And how, how can you say I'm bald? I've clearly got hair. I just buzzed it real short. That's all. I'm bald. Ah, uh, oh, this cracks me up. But anyway, I'm already gonna have to divide this video into two segments anyway. So this is the leader of the resistance signing off again. I'm gonna be covering. A few more questions because there's a lot of questions on here some of them were really good top subject matter that I'd like to cover in full videos so I'm gonna be expanding on this more later and I'm also gonna be doing more videos here here in the future but I've been caught up in a few other things um, till next time there's a leader of the resistance if you're watching this you are the resistance peace this. You are not alone. This is the resistance.